Hello, today's video is going to be a wee bit different. I am in my back garden and it is currently pissing it down. It has been for the past three days, but it's been a great way to test this tent, which is the Lanshan 2 Pro. The purpose of this video isn't a gear review, so to speak, it's more am I going to buy this tent and is it right for me? At this point, it's probably important to mention that I haven't bought this tent, I haven't been sent this tent. I've actually borrowed it from a, a good walking friend of mine, Greg, thanks very much. Um, he's let me borrow this for a couple of days just to see whether I like it or not because I've been looking at other tents. I have my OEX Fox 2 and basically I'm looking for something that's going to be meet my needs in the long term. So it's been really windy and rainy. That allows me to test the solidity of the structure, permeability of the fly sheet and how well it does with repeated exposure to inclement weather which is what the hills will throw a tent in one night. Why am I considering a change? Well, the Fox 2, while it's big enough for me, Coops, and my rucksack, the vestibule space isn't the best for really bad weather. I don't plan on going out in super inclement weather, but when I do, I'd like to know that I'm, I've got the space that I need to cook within my shelter, prepare things, get changed, things like that. And the Fox 2, it does an alright job, but I don't see myself being in that for the long term. The main consideration for me is weight versus size. So the Fox 2 is 2.1 kilograms. I've modded that and got it down to 1.9, which is still really heavy for what it is. The Lanshan is almost double the size in terms of space and half the weight, or more than half the weight at 1.15 uh, kilograms, it's ridiculous. That to me is a major selling point. But it's easy to be blinded by that and I don't want to make a decision purely based on weight, I want to see how well it's going to cope. The first major plus for me with this tent is the sheer size of the thing. So we'll start off with this four season inner. Basically you have this sealed section here which goes about three quarters of the way up then you've got a section of mesh for condensation it's the same on the other side you have two doors both leading to enormous porches which i'll show you in a second but this is the size of my sleeping mat and you can see all that space it is enormous there's plenty of room for me coops rucksack and any other nonsense that I've got. There's also plenty of space. Um, I've, I'm pushing myself up here, that's my normal resting size. Push myself up. That means I can get changed really easily. And with the size of the vestibules, I can stick my feet out and you know put things like socks on, really stretch out if I need to. The inner's brilliant and as I, as I mentioned with the wind, basically this section here is to stop the wind getting through because on the, uh, the fly sheet you've got quite a bit of space which can be adjusted, I'll talk about that in a wee while but that lets a lot of ventilation through and it can get a wee bit blowy in here but this membrane really, really does it honestly, it really does cut out the wind completely this whole thing can be moving in like 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts and you don't feel it at all it really, it really works so the next positive thing, and let me turn the camera around, will be the vestibules. So as you can see, the vestibules are huge. In the Fox, I can only really fit my boots, but look at all the space above it, it's crazy. So I can have my boots here, I can also have my cook set, I've just got a, a gas one here just now, for uh, showing you. I usually use meths, oh well. But you've also got plenty of space for other things. And if you get a, a ground sheet for here, then it means your stuff is also kept off the ground and dry. And I mentioned these gaps here, which is pretty high. That's a 900ml mug. In stormy weather, you can actually reduce the length of this pole. It's currently at 120. I'll probably take it down to about 110. And that will close that section off and you would do that on the in the direction that the wind is coming in 
and that gives you even more shelter to cook and there's more than enough ventilation to allow uh, any carbon monoxide build up to, to get out. The other positive is along with the size and this colour, the white which I'll probably go for is really light and airy, it feels great. The other positive I have got to talk about with this tent is the stability. I wasn't quite sure how it would hold up for the, the two poles. Basically because the poles are taking the entire weight of the structure and when the wind blows you would think these flex but they really don't, they're really, really strong. It's totally solid in the wind. The guy lines all line up really nicely. The inner um, also ties off on the outer pegging points. It's eight pegs all together. Uh, you have the two vestibules which have guy lines. You have the two main guy lines and then you've got uh, two at the end, either end of the tent and these all tie the tent off really nicely honestly it's super solid more so than I thought it would be I thought it would be flapping about but it's not but enough about all the positives there are a couple of wee negative points that I would like to make so let's get into that my first complaint about this tent is the, the kind of weight and the thickness of this ground sheet it's really not that thick but people who have this tent have guaranteed me that it is very strong and durable Lanshan do actually offer a footprint as well so technically you could use that and I think they're cheap and light so that's a good thing my second gripe is the toggles you only have one toggle per door but I found that to stop it hanging down too loose, you just pull the bottom section that kind of pulls it tight. So again, not a major issue. One of my main annoyances, to be honest, is you've got two zips on the inner, you've got one zip on the outer, which is fine. But the two zips on the inner, at the top section here, it goes down all right because there's plenty of tension. But here, there's just not enough tension to be able to pull that with one hand. That annoys me. But it's not a big deal. The last gripe I had was pitching the tent. Now obviously, when you first pitch a tent, you're never gonna get it like bang on. But I like my tents to be rock solid and taut. And when setting up, this tent felt a bit finicky. So you've got the four main pegs and you've got the two poles to consider. The poles go in, no bother. Um, everything ties up really nicely. But the, on the outer, the anchor points are on stretchy fabric. So you can't really get it tight. You have to go around it a few times, at least on my first pitch. I haven't watched any videos on how to set it up though, so I could be completely wrong. It wasn't that difficult. It's just annoying when you don't know um, what your tension's supposed to be until it's actually bloody up. I set the poles up at 125. It was too tight and I was wondering what was going on, but I dropped it uh, five mil and it was fine. Overall, the positives are much better than the negatives. The negatives are nothing. Um, I will say that it's, it, it is lightweight, it's a lightweight tent. And it feels lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap. None, not even the zips feel that cheap. I do want to show you one thing, which would probably be another positive. On other tents I've experienced, the outer or the fly sheet will be wet underneath with the moisture outside, but my hand is completely dry with that and the tent is soaking, it's currently raining, so um, again, another positive I haven't seen any water ingressing the only water I've seen is either come off of me coming in or on this stupid wet mat that I've got and that leaves us with the question will I be buying a Lanshan 2 Pro? definitely uh, this tent is amazing from what I've seen and what I've experienced so far. The sheer size alone does it for me. Uh, I can live with stupid wee niggles, every tent's going to have niggles. But this is just such a great tent for the money as well. Um, they're not that expensive in comparison to the Hillebergs and the, um, the MSRs and you know all these big brand tents. Based on what I've seen I would definitely recommend it. Um, super lightweight. You can get lighter tents, like you know the one-man versions and stuff like that. But for the sheer for the sheer space, I could probably live with 250 grams, to be honest. So I'm going to wrap up now. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, give me a wee subscribe, share it with all your friends. I'm Scott Cameron Wonstow, a very happy camper, the Ayrshire photographer. And remember, go outside, it's good for you.